This is the crochet snowflake I'll show you how to make today. The materials required for the crochet snowflake pattern are two balls of white yarn and that's a medium worsted weight yarn, 8 ply or DK and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook, my craft scissors and a yarn needle and we'll be working with both of the balls of yarn at the same time so we'll be crocheting the two strands together. So to get started I've got my slip knot on my hook and I'm going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to do a slip knot into the first chain stitch that we made. And that will be to form a ring. So there's our ring that we'll be working into. Now we'll be working over this tail as well. So you hold it back like that. And now we're going for round one, we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do two treble crochet into the ring. So wrap the yarn around the hook twice, insert it into the ring, and making sure you're working over that tail. Wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it back through the ring. Wrap the yarn over the hook and draw through two loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through another two loops on the hook. And we're going to leave these two loops there. And then we're going to do another treble crochet. Wrap the yarn over the hook twice. Insert it into the ring. Wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through. Wrap the yarn over the hook, draw through two loops. Wrap the yarn over the hook and draw through another two loops. And now we've got three loops left. And we're going to wrap the yarn over the hook and draw it through all three to finish off there. And there's a cluster of treble, well, two treble crochet stitches in the the chain and that does count as a stitch. So now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do three treble crochet into the ring. So wrapping the yarn over the hook twice. leaving two loops there and then another treble crochet into the ring making sure you're working over your yarn tail leaving three loops on the ring Now we'll do another treble crochet. And now we've got four loops left on the ring here. And you're going to wrap your yarn over the hook and draw through all of those four loops. And there's another cluster of stitches. So we'll just move them around the ring. You can see the snowflake starting to form. So 
So now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do another three treble crochet into the ring. And as you can see, we're not quite completing the treble crochets because we're leaving the loop there because we want to make this as a cluster. So there's one. Two, leaving three loops on the hook. There's the third stitch, leaving four loops on the hook. Now we wrap the yarn over the hook and draw through all four to bring those stitches together. Just pushing those around. And now we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to do three treble crochet into the ring again, working over the tail, the yarn tail still. Leave two loops on the hook. leaving three loops on the hook with the second stitch completed. I'm just going to get more yarn here. Now we'll do our third treble crochet into the ring. Now we've got four loops left on the hook, yarn over and draw through all four. So now we've got four clusters of stitches there. So moving that around, we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five and three treble crochet into the ring. Leaving two loops there. Leaving three loops on the hook. And then we'll do our third treble crochet. Into the ring. And we've got four loops left. Wrap the yarn over the hook and draw through all four. So now we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the chain four that we made here. So there's one, two, three, four. So into this one here with a slip stitch. Now at this point you can finish off if that's all you want, just the snowflake, but if you want a hanging loop you can 
chain 15 and then do a slip stitch back in here and you'll have a hanging loop. And I'm just going to finish off here. So snip your yarn and finish off. And with your yarn needle, with your yarn needle, you would weave those ends through the yarn needle and you would just weave it down through the stitch and into where we started here. And with this end here, you can pull that tight and that will tighten up your snowflake. And then with once again with your yarn needle, just weave that end in around there. And uh, there you have your crochet snowflake.